Hi there, my name is Charlotte Reeves. I'm from Unleashed Education and you've tuned in to another Editing Toolbox video. We release these videos weekly and in them we share a quick tip, trick or technique to make your pet photography editing life easier. So in this video, I'm going to share my preferred or recommended workflow when you're working with both Lightroom and Photoshop. Most pet photographers I know work between the two and some pet photographers end up with the problem where they move the file from one to the other and end up with these file names that have dash edit, dash edit, dash edit on the ends of them because they're switching between the two so often. So what I'd like to share is the way that I use Lightroom and Photoshop and the way you can use the power of the non-destructive tools in Lightroom as well as the full power of the pixel level editing tools available in Photoshop. So once I have my raw files imported into Lightroom I'll go through and flag the ones that I would like to edit and as you can see here these are all the images from this session that I've decided are worth editing. I'll then do basic edit, so basic adjustments here in Lightroom and generally that will involve using the sliders over here and going through white balance, tone, presence, uh, tone curve, sometimes using the HSL panel, uh, sometimes using color grading, doing some sharpening and basically getting the image to a level where all the tones, colors, white balance, everything is exactly how I want it. So we're going to be having a look at this image today and as you can see this is the raw file. I've just hit backslash on the keyboard to go back to that. So these are the edits that I've made to the raw file in Lightroom. Now I feel this is about as far as I can take it or as far as I want to take it in Lightroom at the moment it's now time to take it into Photoshop. Now a really important point here, I don't actually crop before I take it into Photoshop. I always want to leave the full edges of the image in case I need to use them for, you know, client gallery wraps, albums, different cropping. So I definitely do not crop before taking the image into Photoshop. I'll then export the image for Photoshop. I've got another editing toolbox video that shows you the exact preset that I use. So I'm just going to go and select that preset and export this and it will turn up in Photoshop for me. All right, so here in Photoshop, I've decided that I don't like these, these little bits of white on the cliff in behind Fletcher here. So I'm just going to really quickly use the patch tool, select all these and then do a content aware fill. Okay, so you select, there's all those bits of white that I didn't like, they're gone now. Now, because I've exported this using my export preset, it's a PSD file and when I save it, it's gonna turn up back in Lightroom. So I'm gonna press Command S to save this and then Command W, nice little shortcut, to close that file. Now, when I go back into Lightroom, I'll be able to come over here and open out the folder that the raw files are in and in it I will find a subfolder called final and that is where that final edited PSD file is. Now I can do a little bit more work to the image so I can maybe do a crop. I'm just going to straighten it and crop it in a little bit. I'm going to maybe do a little bit of painting with light so I like to do that at this point because if I change my mind about it it's nice and non-destructive so I usually do this to the PSD file rather than doing it initially in Lightroom. So I might decide that I want to do a radial gradient on Fletcher uh, and then invert that and then take the exposure down a little and then I might want to add a linear gradient from the bottom to darken off the foreground, take the contrast down as well and there we go there's some local adjustments that I've made to Fletcher. I also might decide at this point that maybe I think the image is a little bit warm and I can just very slightly adjust the white balance here. Now at this point if I notice that oh my goodness I forgot to get rid of these white bits here and I really hate them instead of exporting this file again you can edit it back in Photoshop and not lose your non-destructive local adjustments that you've made in Lightroom. So to do this, you'll just press Command E and it brings up three options here. So the first one is edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. This is creating an additional copy. So if you usually just export your images straight from Lightroom, it will append a dash edit on the end of your file. This will create another copy with another dash edit on the end of it as well. So using this setting is where you end up with those dash edit, dash edit, dash edit uh, file names. So we don't wanna edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments. 
We don't want to edit a copy of the original file. We don't want to make any copies because we don't actually need to make copies. What we do want to do is edit the original file. Now it tells us that the Lightroom adjustments will not be visible. That's fine. I'm going to click edit and then it will come up with this error message here. You always want to click cancel in this case. You don't want Lightroom making any changes to that original file. So I'll just press cancel. Now here are the images back in Photoshop as the PSD file. Now you'll notice that the local adjustments that we made in Lightroom, so the vignetting, the darkening, the foreground, and also the very slight white balance adjustment, they're not visible on this raw file, but they don't need to be for you to make these pixel level adjustments. So I can go in here and say, all right, I really, for whatever reason, <laughs> don't like these white bits here and that bit here. And I think that'll do that bit there. I'm going to content to wear those away and then deselect. Okay, much happier with that. Not so many white blobs. So now I can save and close this file and then go back to Lightroom. So Command S, Command W, go back to Lightroom. And here is our image with those extra white blobs gone. Now it has kept all of the local and global Lightroom adjustments that we have made. So if we go into masks here, you can see there's those masks we added. And it's all done it to the one file. We haven't created additional copies of this file. So the great thing about this is if you decide that perhaps you don't like the vignette, you can maybe delete that. You can maybe adjust the crop a little bit and say, oh, no, I think that's more like what I wanted to do. And all that's happening non-destructively to the file. If you do need to make pixel level changes, just command E and then edit the original file. And that will then update here in Lightroom. I hope that makes sense. If you do have any questions or comments, just drop them below and I'll get back to you. And until next week, happy pet photography editing.